the 2021 autocross season has come to an end. Both of my clubs were able to put on enough points events to award season championships. Between the two clubs, I attended a total of 15 events. The plan going into the 2021 season was to use all three of my warhorses, but mechanical issues and parts delays kept a couple of my ponies in the stable. I took my 1992 GT to one event and managed to win a trophy despite the car running badly. I spent much of my limited free time during the season trying to track down the source of the problem. My 2004 V6 is still in the process of getting lighter for Cam T. Unfortunately, parts delays prevented me from taking it to events. That means the Tumbler, my IRS Swap 2000 GT, competed in 14 points events in 2021. COVID-19 restrictions shut down a number of venues early in the year. So both clubs held a lot of events at the airport. Eventually, other sites opened up. One club held several events at the fairgrounds, a site that often made me feel like I didn't know how to drive, stuck a screw in one of my new 315 tires, and was the scene of multiple tough battles with a fierce Cam T competitor. The other club found two new sites. Both were oval tracks. One tested my skills on a small infield course, the other measured my ability to get the most out of 245 tires. If you watched my results videos, you saw how much the courses and my competitors challenged me, how I struggled on old tires and triumphed on new tires, and how I identified and fixed the driving errors I was making. As always, I tried to make sure my results videos included pointers to help other autocrossers improve their times out on course. I also posted autocross tips videos that covered looking ahead, how the wrong line costs you time, and five ways to find speed on an autocross course. When covering events, I mentioned that strict COVID-19 safety protocols were in place for most of the season, and even after they were eased, attendees were encouraged to take precautions. I want to thank the officers and staff members at both clubs who did an amazing job of balancing public safety and personal privacy, my fellow novice coordinators and instructors who came up with inventive ways to instruct novices when two people couldn't be in one car, the more experienced novices who volunteered to go without instruction so that novices with less autocross experience could get help when we had a limited number of instructors, and every driver who went the extra mile to make safe events happen. I also want to thank the photographers who took the amazing shots of the cars in my videos. They are as talented behind a camera as they are behind a steering wheel, and they're often taking photos in addition to their work assignment. I want to thank all the people who watched my videos, subscribed to my channel, and asked questions in 2021. You've helped build the Warhorse Racing channel into a trusted resource for people interested in autocrossing their Mustangs. It's also been great to see an increased amount of Mustang autocross content. More and more people are discovering the true potential of these cars and encouraging other Mustang owners to autocross their ponies. All in all, it was a tough but inspiring season. So how did Warhorse Racing do in 2021? In club number one, I attended seven out of eight points events. I was able to take home first place at every event I entered, but at several events, I was the only car in Cam T. I improved my raw times relative to the fastest drivers in the club. I was happy with how I performed at the new venues, and I was glad I was able to win the Cam T championship. In club number two, I attended eight out of nine points events. I started off with a string of second place finishes, then I had a string of first place finishes as I battled tenacious competition. At the last event, I finished in second place getting beat by, you guessed it, Cam T76. In prior seasons, consistency has been an issue for me, so I was thrilled to be on the podium at every event I entered and to take home the Cam T championship. 
This is the first time I've won two championships in one season. I'm really proud of that. But I'm more proud of what the autocross community was able to accomplish. Amid a pandemic that made every aspect of putting on autocross events harder, people with all different backgrounds and points of view worked together toward the common goal of making this season possible. I know that defending these championships is going to be difficult. In 2022, my plan is to start the season stronger and shake off the rust sooner. I want to be more aggressive with my run strategy so I can push myself and my cars harder. I'm also going to reach out to the faster drivers in my clubs to help me find more speed on course. I'll keep posting my autocross results, driving and tech tips, and race-tested reviews of the performance parts I use on my Mustangs. And I'll be documenting the work I'm doing to my long-term 1993 2.3-liter Mustang autocross project, Apocalypso. I hope you'll tune in as I continue on my quest to prove that 79-04 Mustangs are awesome autocross cars.